Hi, I'm Dr. Alan Mandel. I'd like to discuss a little bit about herniated discs and bulging discs. Common question, do herniated discs always cause pain? The answer is no. Do bulging discs always cause pain? The answer is also no. Can a herniated disc cause zero pain and never have a problem my whole life? Absolutely. I want to explain a little bit about the anatomy. If you look at the spine here, here's the back part of our spine called the spinous processes. Here's the front part of our vertebrae. In between the spine we have discs. And each of these discs, if you look at them, they act as cushions between the vertebrae. And you have a pair of nerves called spinal nerves, 31 pairs of nerves that exit off the spine. Understand that this column is not the spine. This column protects the spinal cord which runs inside of this column. And as you see these yellow little things, they're called nerves, and these are the nerves that are coming off the spine. If you look down here in this lower part here, this is our, actually, this would be our L3, L4, L4, L5, L5, S1. Okay, but this disc right here shows that it's bulging. It doesn't show it's herniated, it shows it's bulging. The difference between a herniated and a bulging disc is that the disc has fibers, and those outside fibers are called the annular fibrosis. And inside that disc you have a gel called the nucleus palposis, and this gel can push out on those fibers causing it to bulge. Here is the key. The key thing is where is that bulge or where is that herniation? By the way, a herniation is when the outside fibers tear, but they can look fairly the same. The key thing is, where is that bulging out? Where is it herniated? Is it compressing a nerve? So if in general, if in generally, when these discs bulge, because we're always in a forward position, generally they're going to go backwards because of the pressure. So here's the key thing. When these discs, bulging or herniated, when it affects the posterior structures of the spine and these nerves become affected, that's when you experience pain. Radiation, burning, tingling, numbness. It may radiate down the arm into the hand. It may radiate from the lower back down into the leg called sciatica. But the key thing is if this bulge or herniation is in the front of the vertebrae, you have no symptoms. So that is the main difference between a herniation and a bulging disc. They both can cause the exact same symptoms and even a bulging disc can cause more pain and more problems than a herniated disc as well. So the key is where is it herniated, where is it bulging, is it affecting the nerve structure and what part of the disc is it affecting. That is the most important thing that you need to ask your physician so you'll have a better understanding of your own particular problem. Make it a great day. I'm Dr. Alan Mandel.